Welcome you all. This is an introductory session on the topic of sedimentary petrology. Sedimentary petrology deals with sedimentary rocks. But before going into this topic, we will firstly see what a rock is, what are the different types of rocks, and then our main focus will be on the sedimentary rock. So what a rock is? A rock is an aggregate of minerals. A mineral is a naturally occurring crystalline substance with a fixed chemical composition. So these minerals together form a rock. They are classified into three types, igneous rock, sedimentary rock and the metamorphic rock. So what a igneous rock is? A igneous rock is one of the most abundant primary rock. Igneous rocks are the rocks that are formed by the solidification of magma and this magma is a molten rock material that is formed deep inside the earth. When this magma reaches the surface of the earth, we term it as lava that we normally see during the volcanic eruption. So the rock that is crystallized from the magma within the surface of the earth or on the surface of the earth is collectively termed as the igneous rocks. The next one is the metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rocks are the rocks that are formed by the alteration of the pre-existing rock deep within the earth by heat, pressure and sometimes due to the chemically active fluids. The process through which these metamorphic rocks form is called as metamorphism. Metamorphism is the change in the mineral composition and the texture of a rock subjected to high temperature and pressure within the earth. One of the important features we observe in such rock is the foliation and banded structures. Like the adjacent figures are showing, showing the banded text structures in the rock. These are the rocks are the filized cyst, nice and sometimes the non-foliated texture is also seen in some rocks like the marble and quartzite. The next one is our topic that is the sedimentary rocks. The sedimentary rocks are the rocks that are formed from the weather product of the pre-existing rocks. A number of processes involved in the formation of the sedimentary rocks starting from the weathering and erosion of the earlier formed rocks, transportation of these weathered sediments, deposition of these sediments in basin and finally the compaction and cementation of these sediments that result in the formation of the sedimentary rocks. In our further session we will see one by one on this topic in detail. The different types of the sedimentary rocks are the limestone, chertz, arcos, shale, sandstone and conglomerate. And finally, the rock cycle. The rock cycle tells us how the one rock is connected with each with the other one. Like if we start from the magma, the magma will cool down and result in the formation of the igneous rock. These igneous rocks is weathered and eroded and result in the formation of sediments. These sediments are transported and deposited and then further compaction and cementation results in the formation of the sedimentary rock. The sedimentary rock is buried and undergo high pressure and temperature condition where it will result in the metamorphic rock. And even more high pressure temperature condition will result in the melting of these rock and again we get the magma. From the igneous rock, if this igneous rock directly undergo a high pressure and temperature condition, it will result directly in the formation of the metamorphic rock. And from the metamorphic rock, uh, we can get directly the sedimentary rock by the weathering and erosion of these rock. So this shows that how one uh, from one rock, we will get the other rock. In our next session, we will deal in detail about the origin of the sedimentary rock and the formation of the sedimentary rock, the number of processes that are involved. Thank you.